Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Blow the Burn. I want to talk about Usyk versus uh, Witherspoon. I seen, I seen the, um, I seen them fight, and um, it was an okay fight. Now, I noticed a step up fight for him come from cruiserweight to heavyweight, and this fight don't tell me nothing. Um, that I know of Usyk already. I mean, don't tell me can he fight the top five fighters or the top fighters in the uh, in the heavyweight division. Um, you know, one thing is, if, you know, one thing is, U U Usyk came out with the win because uh, in the seventh round uh, they stopped the fight. Now I want to know because Usyk did get some punches off. He did hit him cleanly too at the same time. Then uh, Witherspoon hit him a couple of times too, clearly. And, um, I mean, that's not the power of the, the top heavyweights, too, like Anthony Joshua, or, um, Luis Ortiz, or Deontay Wilder, or shoot, my, even uh, shoot, Dylan White or uh, DeSora. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, yeah, but some, somebody hit in the comment, he should fight uh, Daniel DeBars. No, I don't think he should fight him. Um, this fight don't tell me can he step up uh, and, and, and be competitive in fighting them guys, even fighting even Daniel DeRoz, even F, F of a Jabba, you know what I'm saying, if I'm pronouncing the name uh, right, if I got it wrong, I apologize for that, you know, one thing is, uh, I don't know, I mean, maybe he can, maybe he can't, uh, it's just can he take a punch, now, he got the skills, I would definitely say that, but the but with a spoon, he was kind of slow, and as I look back at it, they said he came in in his, in his heaviest weight. He was 242. He kind of tired out in the, uh, shoot, it only lasted seven rounds. He quit in the seven rounds. So you got to think about the two other rounds or three other rounds. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was, he was, he threw punches, but he didn't throw a lot because he was tired. I don't want to because he was out of shape or, uh, I'm, that's what it seemed like to me. You know, he tired out. He didn't, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't even throw no more punches at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, I mean, if you think about it, this was a, a, a I would think a, 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 a okay step up fight for Usyk. But do this tell me enough for him? Do this, do this tell me can he step? Can he fight the, the top heavyweights? No, it doesn't. Um, you know, one thing is, Witherspoon hit uh, Usyk uh, flush. Um, I would say well more than a couple of times. I would definitely say that. Now, if that was Deontay Wilder or you know, uh, uh, and Deontay Wilder hitting him. Uh, I don't know. It's going to probably look a little bit different. The outcome is going to look a little bit different. I think the he's not going to be the one standing. I think it's going to be the, those, uh, even Louis Ortiz, even though he might be old, but shoot, he still, people still fear him in the heavyweight division. These guys have been fighting in the heavyweight division for a long time, and they, they're not going to go back down to cruise rate and fight, you know, because I think they'll crush him. He's coming up to fight uh, these uh, fighters. And matter of fact, and, don't, and I forgot to mention, Andy Ruiz, too, on top of that. I don't think any uh, – Usyk – I got, you know, Usyk, I don't think he should compete with Andy Ruiz, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, um, uh, Luis Ortiz, not them yet. Now, after this fight with Witherspoon, Witter, Witter I think he needs to – now he could be fighting. Uh, who's that? Derek Desor, whatever how you pronounce his name. Um, and then um, uh, Dylan White. Now those should be the next fight. I would say he need to fight. He need to fight a couple more fights, or maybe even one more fight. I would say a couple more fights instead of one more fight, because these are heavyweights. The heavyweights are not on the pound for pound list for a reason because they can. They know they are the pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Even if you got a strap, you should be the pound pound. If you got a um if you're a heavyweight, right? That's why they're not on the pound pound list, cause they can't go up on weight, cause they that's the that's the it's the limit. You can't I mean, you either you if you're three hundred pounds, you're a heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? So but the thing about it is, I would say that um you usually do have the movement, he got the skills. Do you got defense? I mean, I, I think his defense is good, but is it good enough for 12 rounds to um, withstand those punches from those fighters that I just named? You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I think even Usyk right now, what I've seen so far, I mean, Dylan White hurt uh, Anthony Joshua. 
you know, see, the Sora can, he can hit too because he's a heavyweight. I don't know he can beat him. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I this Wetherspoon, I mean, I, I think it was an okay step up. You know, so he just easing his way up in there. I can understand that. I'm not going to say, is he clout chasing uh, Deontay Wilder? He might be. Uh, time would tell. We'll definitely see if he's going to get, if he, if he's definitely going to get in the ring with uh, Deontay Wilder because, matter of fact, even Fury, I forgot the name Fury too, Tyson Fury. He can't beat Tyson Fury right now, I don't think. I don't, I, especially him, I don't think he could do that. Uh, Deontay Wilder, he might get skill wise. But I don't see him that 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 punch of Deontay Wilder's man is deadly. It's like it's like it's like Dynam it's like uh uh TNT dynamite. You know what I'm saying? He can he can it, it only take a a minute or just that punch can 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 change everything, the outcome. Uh can he withstand that? That's the thing. We don't know. Until he get in the ring with him, we'll definitely find out. Or uh, until he get in the ring with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua and um Luis Ortiz, which I, he ain't gonna. Fight. Let me tell you something. He's not gonna fight every last one of them. This, 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 this. Uh, you best believe that. That's not gonna happen. I don't think he's gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, um, fighting two of them might be enough. I'm. Gonna, that's if he's going for undisputed heavyweight champion in the world. I mean, even if Deontay Wilder beat, uh, if the, if Anderson get past Anthony Joshua and then he fight uh, Deontay Wilder and. Now you will be undisputed heavyweight the champion of the world between Andy Reese and uh Deontay Wilder. But if Anthony Joshua win that fight against Andy Reese, then I don't know that fight uh, with Deontay Wilder is gonna be postponed until further notice to Anthony Joshua really wanna fight uh Deontay Wilder. Because I think Deontay Wilder wanna fight Anthony Joshua. I think he wanna fight him now, of course, because he got a loss. And I think he still wanted to fight him in the beginning, but when he didn't have a loss. You know what I'm saying? Because he's like a, a robot. He stands still, he stands there to he's 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 there to be hit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Usyk is, he's not going to stand there to be hit. It's going to take, you know, it's going to, um, he's got to, Deontay Wilder's going to have to work for it, but not that much because that, like the, that power in his, in the, in his, in his, in that punch is, is deadly. It could change, it could change a lot. Is it, 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 either you going to withstand that punch, but I don't think it's going to be for 12 rounds, anybody. And he's beating up heavyweights. And this dude's coming up from a cruiserweight to heavyweight. I don't. I. I cannot. I'm on a serious. I'm on. A, I'm on the side of as in. I don't think he can take that punch. But he might surprise me. I don't know. If he can, because I remember, you know, saying like, uh, um, you know, uh, I mean, in the, in the weather spoon fight, in the weather, in the weather spoon uh, fight, you know, against uh, Usyk, um, he took those punches, but he didn't. That's not. He's not the hit. He's not the deadliest hitter. And, uh, and, and, you know what I'm saying? I know he felt those punches, too, on top of that. You can't tell me he didn't feel those punches, but he didn't throw a lot of punches, too. So he can't feel those punches. If he did, if he, if he, if you said he didn't feel those punches, Witherspoon didn't throw enough because he was, I think he was, he was, he was, he was I mean, he was, um, he was overweight. I think he was out of shape. Uh, I think that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, was it did did Usyk really win that fight or did did because of Red Spoon did I mean Red Spoon did quit but was it was it really Red Spoon quitting you know what I'm saying and him being out of shape you know some people then I had that in the back of my I I had that in my in my mind because when they brought up the uh the um the height the reach and the weight and they said uh Weatherspoon came in his his heaviest his biggest weight one forty two so that that plays a part. In Usyk winning, but he did win. You gotta give him the credit, right? But um, he don't need to jump in the fight with Deontay Wilder. He don't need to jump in the fight with Luis Ortiz or Anthony Joshua or even Andy Ruiz or, the, uh, or Tyson Fury. Now the next fight should be uh, shoot Dylan White or even uh, the Sora or whatever you pronounce, how you whatever you pronounce his name from the dude from uh from London, the United Kingdom, whatever, right? He should fight them fight. Daniel the boss, uh and I don't think he should I don't think he should fight him. He's a real big dude and he hits really hard too on top of that. Uh, F over Jabba, nah, I don't think he should fight him either. You know what I'm saying? Uh maybe he might, maybe he might not, but mm, time will tell. We'll see. But what y'all think about his uh his performance uh last night? Uh, with Witherspoon, I mean, what you think? Because Witherspoon was really he, he's really slow in uh, throwing his punches. Like I said, he was out of shape, one forty two, and I mean, uh, win, but winning is a win. He jumping in, he jumped in there with um, uh, 
he with uh Usyk and uh he, and he quit on the bench. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people would like to see you should probably wanted to see him get the knockout, but I mean that's that's good enough at the same time. But maybe it might not be good enough for uh, for some people. I mean, for me, I don't know. I mean, I don't know um, about this fight. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, dude did get dude did get knocked out. I think two or three times. And he got you know, I think uh, I think it's all together. I think it's three or four losses. I think right now. So um, with a spoon. So I mean, um, I mean he was. Uh, Yusuf was going to jump in and fight, uh, jump from middle, uh, from uh, Cruz way to jump to fight Dylan White or uh, uh, um, or the other guy from England, um, the Sora, whatever, whatever his name is, so Sora, whatever his name is, right? Um, he was going to fight those guys right now, but maybe he might step up and fight them. I don't know. Maybe it might be a too much of a jump. You know what I'm saying? Time will tell, like I said. But what y'all think, y'all? What y'all think about Usyk? Uh, and then, matter of fact, another thing, too, and let me forget. Th th let me not forget. And, you know, Usyk, I do have him on my pound, pound, number five, uh, number one. I mean, not number one, but the top five uh, pound, pound list. I got Chance Crawford, and I got Alizanik Usyk. That's how I word. And uh, I got, um, let me see. You see the Lomachenko, Canelo Alvarez. I had Canelo Alvarez number three, and then Lomachenko, and then um, Errol Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? So, but Errol Spence Jr. Uh, Errol, I mean Errol Spence Jr. Had been moved up because of that, because of the fight and what he did in the fight. He do got the belt, and uh, but he didn't move up because of it was a close fight. If he would have dominated that fight, probably, I probably would have moved him up because he would have then he would have won the belt. But it depends on how you beat how you beat the people to move up too on top of that. Even though you might got the strap, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's just how it's just the outcome of the fight. So he didn't do that. He didn't do that great, but he did enough to win the fight, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Errol Spence Jr. So Errol Spence Jr. number five, number Chico number four, Canel Alvarez number three. Alexander Usyk is number two because he unified at a, at the Cruiserweight. Then he's now he jumped up to the big, the big boys, um, the heavyweight division, uh, which those which those boys uh, punch really hard. And now um, and then because like like I said, a lot of Cruiserweight don't jump up to a heavyweight division. Some of them do like uh, um, shoot uh, like uh, Evander Holyfield, which he was successful, and uh, maybe a couple other people. Tony, I think. Um, Who's that? Tony, um, who's, uh, James Tony. And, um, I forgot the other dude to fall. Um, I forgot the other dude's name that went up. He was, I think he was probably was a cruiserweight maybe, but, but a lot of cruiserweight don't jump up the weight. And so I got to give him the benefit of the doubt as in his challenge. He's challenging himself. Uh, Alexander Usyk. And uh, the number one is number. Uh, I mean, the number one is Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? But Terrence Crawford, you know, he got to step it up too. But right now, what y'all think about uh, Alexanic, Alexanic Usyk so far? Uh, leave a, a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JT from Bubble the Belt. All right, bye.